Hey friends, this is Tegan with another reaction video. And today we're going to be doing a reaction on Alien, Romulus, the official trailer. Now this is going to be the Red Band trailer. I love Red Band because they give you the meat of what the movie is going to be about. So I really look forward to it. I love all the Alien movies. Some are better than others, but overall, I love all the Alien movies. Some about this creature you just can't get tired of and hopefully they'll add some new things to this now I always was a fan of the original movie because If they made it look really realistic Like this actually can happen and when it comes down to a movies like this even though it's probably considered a sci-fi movie I still put it in the category of being a horror movie. Okay, I think it's fantastic It fits all the things that you need into one package all right so let's go ahead and get into this reaction but before we do please like subscribe and share this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you know whenever we come out with new videos okay all right let's get with it Is this really where you want to spend the rest of your life? Ooh, it look like Blade Runner. No, Run. I don't. Then this is our only ticket out of here. Uphill. Love the accents. Creepy man, what's going on with this? They might add some new stuff to this, man. Are you sure you want to do this? No. Ah, a full grown alien, yes, sir. All right, I love this man, love it. I love the way it looks, and they give you that horror feeling. The director, I don't, I never heard of this director's name before but he did some evil death or uh, evil dead or something like that and so i guess they decided to get somebody from the horror genre to to direct this movie and i probably seen the movie i just can't remember because i love zombie movies so most likely i probably did see it and the name sounds familiar but i just can't put it in my mind at the moment but it was logical to get somebody like that and plus uh you you got the the, the feeling of you know what's the movie called again blade runner you have that as well so that just make a perfect combination man. i love this and like i said it looks like it's getting a little bit more graphic now that they literally making these things like when they hatch onto your face and they just try to shove that thing down your throat and then they have this girl with the light on the back which um like give you an x-ray of the thing actually in her chest I mean, they really trying to do the horror thing with this thing, right? I'm still wondering about the guy, guy with the, the black dude with his eyes turning white. So I think they might be exploring something different because I never saw that in all the alien movies before. So they probably trying to expand it and make it um, uh, more horror than that. And almost a supernatural thing. That's another thing about horror movies I have to mention as well. Because even though, uh, it like like I say, uh, uh, somebody just going out there hunting people down like on Friday the 13th 
or you have these aliens out in space they always have some kind of spiritual horror thing about it some supernatural in, in the feeling of it even though you might say it's just a creature out there just doing what it does but i think everything as a christian though, as a christian i think everything has a element of some spiritual thing going on with that okay and that's the feeling i get and it helps a lot because you got to understand what's going on uh, and why these things are happening why these creatures are doing what it does why were they created to do were they made from my understanding um ripley scott uh, did a movie um where these creatures were i think they were created i can't remember exactly the movie but i believe these things were created in a way so when you really think about it though it's like why what was the, the the idea behind making monsters like this you know were they just mad scientists or what but all of it to me got a lot of spiritual meaning to it that that what makes it great it's sort of like poltergeist or the um uh um let's call it again exorcism and it, it's, it's all of that Every, everything about it everything about these supernatural things that's going on always have a spiritual thing to me and I think that's an important quality when it comes down to a horror movie. That what makes it good. If you just have some plain person walking around with a knife, I'll kill you. And, and, and have no depth to it, in my opinion. It had to have that realism. And also have to have that kind of spiritual, supernatural feeling to it. And that's what I love about aliens. Something about these creatures that do what they do. Why do they need to multiply? What's the point? I mean, you can look into all the details about this creature. And why does it do? And why, why it can, can it only do it with humans or humanoid type creatures i mean can it do with animals or any other type i think it can i believe i might have seen a comic book or something that exploit that but you can go in so many directions with this thing and also you got to talk about culture too as well what is the culture of these creatures what were they made specifically to do why do they need to multiply what's the point of that and how do they help the environment i mean look at it this way look at bees right you know why they do what they do and then you look at locusts and much as locusts can like terrorize your crops or whatever the situation is right but they have a purpose there's a reason why they do what they do they do there's a reason why they multiply so every creature on earth have a purpose humans and, and animals alike now what's the purpose of alien right i'm sure that you know when it comes down to the movie they don't really explore it the way you would like but I would like to know the purpose. I would like to know the culture. Why do these things do what they do? And are they somewhat humanoids? Because they understand certain things. I mean, if you look at the second Rip Ripley movie, when she was with the little girl and she had all these eggs around her, and when she threatened with the fire, um, uh, the torch, she pretty much let that queen know, look, if you don't let us go, we're going to burn every one of these eggs. And the queen basically told them, you know get back get back so when they talk about when you talk about alien i'm gonna give you another perfect example in the second movie uh alien aliens when he when remember when the lights went out and somebody said they cut the power <laughs> and old boy said they cut the power how can they cut the power the animals but that i think that that explains everything maybe they're not animals maybe there's something else other than animals right you ever think about that right because you, you see these things they just laying eggs and and inhabiting people's bodies and tearing people up and all this kind of stuff but it seems like they have a purpose there's a reason why they're doing what they're doing and i thought it was just some kind of instinct instinct type situation but i think he was alluding to these aliens are more than what you think they are they're more humanoid than what you really believe you know what i mean so because they have they don't they don't think like animals it's the way they do things is different and i think that is very fascinating to me and and also like i say bringing up the spiritual parts of it the culture what do these things believe in do they worship things do they i mean maybe i'm going a little bit deeper than i need to go when it comes out to these these creatures man but i find it fascinating and I'm hoping, if not in this movie, I'm hoping that he will explore more in details about these creatures. Because I think they're more than just animals. Again, how can they cut the power? They just animals, right? Why would why would uh, 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 this, this creature care about her burning all these eggs? Why would even know better if, if it was just animal? I think I think that's the reason why they call it alien. I mean, think about it. Think about the word alien for a second. You, you don't describe an animal as an alien, right? 
they call it alien for a reason and maybe i'm behind in, in this idea maybe other people have figured it out maybe people have read books about it and they explain more details on this thing or whatever but i'm starting to understand it now because all these years i've been watching uh, aliens I'm, I, I always think of them as animals they're just breeding they're just doing what they do it's just a natural instinct for these creatures to do this but then when you it seemed like ripley is ripley scott is going to a little bit more in depth of why these creatures act the way they do and even whether they created or whatever the situation is they do have a humanoid aspect to them and i think it's more than just multiplying i think it's other reasons and like i say it's very fascinating and i hope ridley scott explore it more if he continue making these type movies that'll just put another element to these creatures who are already fascinating already but i think that would be really interesting but think about it right i mean if you never if you're the person that not really that deep into that into this uh genre or whatever and, and and it says alien you don't call an animal alien okay you call humanoids alien right and i mean it's something to think about right when you watch these movies when you start thinking of thinking of them more than just animals it brings another aspect to them another another layer to what these creatures are and why they're doing what they're doing they don't replicate like humans do or many other animals do they do what they do in, in, in specific reasons now you could argue that whoever created these uh these aliens they want to use it as a weapon maybe to occupy a planet or something like that right that could be a possibility right but you know i'm I, and I, I wish they explore that that would be interesting to find out why these things were created if they were created right but like i say these things have a purpose everything has a purpose and that's what the uh, spiritual aspect come in like if you like i say if you was atheist or whatever you don't think things really have purposes it's just random kind of a situation right it just does what it does okay just like the jokers said i just chase out the cars and i don't know what to do when i catch it right <laughs> it it just i just do things okay it has no meaning to it right but i think these things do have meaning and i think when you put that that spiritual aspect to it like these things have a purpose then it makes the the, the whole alien genre more interesting to me okay and that's why i think all these horror movies is, is more um, fascinating when you have that spiritual aspects that why is this happening is it just a physical thing maybe it's a spiritual thing maybe it's demons maybe it's monsters who knows right but when you put that aspect to it that's what makes it more interesting i don't like just a, a cookie cutter horror movie that means nothing some nutcase i mean then i mean you, even when you look at um law and order and you see all these uh uh men killing women and all that kind of stuff that's also to me have a spiritual aspect to it as well because you think about you know how, why is this man so evil why is, what what put in his mind to go out there and kill women and stuff like that right you know it's, it's it, it makes you think about it because it, it, it i mean off his face it's just horrifying regardless but then when you dig deeper into it you, you see these people dabbling into demonic type stuff or these they have these kind of demonic type lifestyles and everything i mean it just it, it's just more to it and that's what to me makes a hard movie when you can dig deeper into why this is happening what motivate these creatures to multiply the way they do and i mean i mean it just to me it's just much more fascinating i mean this is just food for thought okay if you never really thought that deep about it you probably won't but i'm just saying if you did if, if if it's something that you think is fascinating that's interesting definitely definitely uh think about what i just said okay all right i really appreciate all of you coming by thanks again this is t and peace